Minecraft. Woo! Slash V! I have no idea. Is that like some 4chan thing or something? I don't know. Uh, in any case, in today's episode, Brian is going to be doing some exploring. We're going to explore some of the above ground world above Vantage House, as well as do a little bit of spelunking a little bit further away uh, below ground. We'll also do some quick farming with some bone meal, and then I have a little bit of a bonus at the end of the episode. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm in the mood to do more spelunking under Vantage House, and so I'm going to head off in a different direction this time kind of carving a staircase down this way. All right, well, that was an exercise in futility. I didn't find a single cave. I didn't hear a single enemy. No fun at all. And just to see how unfruitful that was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of cobble, and only eight pieces of iron, 18 pieces of redstone. And that was it. Oh, and some coal. Alright, so if I want to go spelunking, why don't I actually look for an actual cave system? And so, I'm just going to use the sky rail. I think I've looked over this way a bit, but I haven't looked much over here. And so let's just keep an eye out for what appear to be cave system entrances. And, as well as, you know, things like surface dungeons. Um, yes, and we'll try to find things that way. But yeah, it's a very kind of flat, plain, nondescript landscape over here. And then we've got some ocean. So I don't know that I'm going to see any for a while. Looks like there might be one there. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, and so I want to take a peek over here, and so in order to get down, I'm going to use this trick. I will put down some water. I will scoop it back up. I will jump in said water. Whee! A couple of possible cave system entrances here, and possibly over here, so let's take a look. Show me the money. Woohoo! This looks plausible. Alright, that's going nowhere. All right, that was just a little through bit. That's okay, I'm not deterred. There's... Oh, hello, creeper. Well, that could be a good sign in terms of there's at least enough area for him to spawn over there in the dark. And so is somewhat suggestive of a cave system. Oh, I don't have any torches on me. Let me go ahead and make some torches, torches, torches. Brian needs some torches before he's going to go spelunking. I should have brought some better armor. Oh, well... Aha! It is a cave system. Evoke! Go! Jump! 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 Nice. All right. See, I got that out of the way right at the beginning. Uh, all right. So unfortunately, I'm in like above ground in the side of a mountain here. Um, and yeah, it did look like there was a little hole over there. But I would like to find a cave system that kind of goes downward, ideally. Uh, all right. Well, there's a little bit of. Uh, iron and coal in here. I will take this iron. Alright, down here is the little entrance to the tiny cave system that was mostly above ground that I went in. And let's just see what's over this hill that might be uh, not visible to the sky rail. And I see a lake, but that is not a cave system. There's a desert over here. I don't know that I've ever explored over in this direction. Who knows what might be over the next hill? I am not seeing anything that looks too interesting over here, and I still don't see more cave system entrances. Oh, there's a fire! I bet you I have been down there at some point. Oh, yes, I remember when I came from Mountaintop Abode back through the nether, I overshot and then I walked back this way. And so that must be remnants of a forest fire that I set from back then. It looks like there's some uh, mountain and whatnot over here. I can still see Vantage House in the distance. And so I'm not worried about getting too far away from home and getting lost. <coughs> Oops. I am a little worried about, did I even bring food? I have some wheat. Not a lot. But let's check out what's over in this mountainous area. Okay, I hear monsters directly below me right here. And so I'm going to stand back a few paces and start digging a staircase down and see how long it takes me to find them. All right, and I think I see an opening, and I might have just seen a zombie, or I might be making it up. Nope, that's definitely an opening. All right, and here's some zombie feet. Hello, zombie. Oh, and I hear a spider in there. All right. Since I am coming in a little bit below that level, I'm just going to plug it up. 
And I will take three steps up and head back over into that room again. And this time, hopefully I won't have monsters above me. There's the room. Hello, zombie. How are you? What's that? You've never met a diamond sword? And you've always wanted to meet one? Well, then, do I have the best thing in the world for you. Oh, that spider's going to be able to get through here if I'm not careful. Uh, I just want to put a torch there. Hello, zombie. All right. And I don't think I hear any more footsteps. So it looks like a big room, but I'm just going to run straight in. Because I'm that crazy. Nope. And it sounds like there's going to be more stuff this way. Okay. And so it seems like it's one of these round rooms, like we saw the other day. But this time, there's an imperfection in that there's a big hole over here. All right. And let me try to put some light on the ceilings as well. All right. And so I'm just below the surface, uh, which is going to make things a little hard to... Uh, judge the sounds because now since it's turning nighttime it's, I guess it's still daytime right now but it's gonna be turning nighttime real soon uh, so I'll be able to hear monster sounds above me as well oh and I'm already a little low on health so I should go ahead and make a few pieces of bread all right let me light up just a little bit more over here to feel a little bit safer in this direction and then uh, I will make some bread all right. Okay, I made some bread. Uh, made a couple of pieces in reserve, but went ahead and ate a piece. I also made some torches, torches, torches. And now I guess we're ready to explore back over in this direction where I hear more bad guys. Yo, my goodness. All right, it does seem like there's a ceiling over here. But wow, all right, I know there's more directions back where I just came from. But this seems like a somewhat narrow cave. And so I want to take a little bit of a direction this way. I hear enemy... Oh, there's another uh, hole in the ceiling. That could be very dangerous. All right. So yeah, definitely all the danger of possibly enemies could fall on me from the ceiling. And we know how that has bitten me in the past. Uh, is there anything over here? Am I going to get back up to the ceiling here as well? Maybe, maybe not. Looks like I mostly have a roof. Possibly, yes, I see some sky out there, so I am just going to leave that closed off like it is. And so, this area at least uh, seems safe now and lit up. And I don't think there's any holes in the ceiling up there either. All right. So I guess we can try heading down deeper into the depths down this way. I would like a step down, please. Alright, and the fact that it's nighttime could work to my advantage, because it means that some of the monsters who are going to be spawning in my general area will be spawning on the surface rather than spawning in the caves that I'm currently exploring. And so, in a sense, that affords me some monster protection. That's an interesting little... Does this go through to a whole other system, or is it just a tiny room? It's just a tiny room. Looks like this was some panic room that someone built. Uh, all right. And so... I've lit up a fair bit here. I will mine some iron. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and plunked down a furnace, and with the nine pieces of iron, I went ahead and made some new helmet and boots, and so my armor is much better shape. But I have explored this whole cave, and there really wasn't anything here. And so, I think I'm going to say goodbye to this area, and head back to Vantage House and figure out what else I want to do next. Oh, I said I explored the whole cave, and I was going to leave back a piece of iron. That poor piece of iron, it was about to be forgotten. And I believe, yes, it's just turning daytime, and so any enemies that I hear should be dying momentarily. Assuming that I can remember how I got in here. Yes, here we go. Aha! I see lots of bad guys burning on the surface. 
Hooray, hooray. And I'm pretty sure I'm headed in the right direction. Yes, there's Vantage House. Great. All right, I'm a little low on wheat, and so I decided that I would start a wheat farm. And in order to get things started off super quick, uh, I will use some bone meal. And so let's grab some uh, friendly bone meal and then go plant, 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 plant. Bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Punch, 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 punch. Plant, 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 plant. Bone meal, bone meal. All right. I might use a little bit more bone meal on this to go ahead and get this kickstarted a little bit more. But yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'll have a nice little wheat farm uh, going right here. Uh, and I should have plenty of seeds because you get back seeds at a faster rate than they grow. Yeah, it probably only took me two minutes, and so I now have a nice little wheat farm going there, and I'm back up to 22 wheat, uh, and so I probably just got like 20 pieces of wheat there or something. Yep, good shape. All right, so I'm on this end of Vantage House, and over here there's this mountain that almost has like these two eyes. It's almost kind of like a crazy face looking out at you. Uh, and I think for some reason I want to uh, build a little walkway over there and see what's on the other side of that mountain, and so I'm going to do that. All right, so I built a little walkway. Um, it also gives a nice view of some of the uh, <laughs> redstone wiring that I have going from the button all the way down doo -doo 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 over to, uh, yeah, where I have the piston system to open up the water floodgate and some of the lights that are over there. And if I climb up here, it's got a nice look out over this landscape. And so that's pretty nice. It doesn't look like there's anything too exciting over in this direction. Uh, you'll recall back here, like right around the bend over here is where Skelevator is. I haven't worked on that in a while. Is there anything I could do with pistons and Skelevator? Obviously I could put in a lighting system so I could turn on and off the mob spawner, which might be useful. Is there anything else that's over in this direction? I don't see anything too exciting. It occurs to me I should put torches over here as well so that mobs can't spawn at night over here, which once again means they'll have to spawn over near me on my floodgate plane. I'm also getting a little low on wood, and so here's my plan for that. I'm going to go zoop, 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 and then take some bone meal and go zing, 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 oops, <laughs> zing, zing. All right, and now we have a bunch of trees, and then I will take my diamond axe and cut them all down and see how much uh, wood I have at the end. And I started out with about 16 pieces of wood. We'll see how much I have at the end of this. And the final wood tally is 63. All right, so I got three quarters of a stack of wood. Uh, and once again, just like two or three minutes of time. Uh, so whenever your wood supplies get low, if you have a little bit of bone meal, just grow a few trees. Uh, that is a super fast way to have plenty of wood again. And I definitely always recommend carrying nearly a full stack of wood, uh, because provided you have enough wood on your person, like you can pretty much survive forever anywhere if you're underground or whatever. Actually, wooden seeds. I should carry around a few more seeds with me, um, because then you can always do some farming if you need some food. You can do it in a tight space really quick. And now for the aforementioned bonus footage. You will recall yesterday that I ended up, uh, I had forgotten to connect my microphone. And so I have a bunch of footage of me in the nether collecting glowstone without any voiceover. And so I'll just give you the raw unedited footage. Uh, I don't know that it will be exciting. Maybe you could take this footage and uh, add your own crazy uh, voiceover to it or music or who knows what and maybe have fun with it. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a bunch of extra footage that I'm tacking on to the end in order to make this a longer episode to make up for yesterday. Who knows? In any case, here you go.